While the 15 fall practices are officially over, the work doesn't end for the UNI football team. The players are working towards that opening practice in January as much as they're working towards that opening game late February. Well, right now, is every, everything's so different. I'm, I'm planning right now the month of November. We can still do some things in November. I do think we need to take a little time off right now because once we start lifting again, man, November and December, that's the lifting we're going to do for the next two seasons. Not just for the next year, the next two seasons. Because I say two seasons, the one in the spring and the one in the fall. So we've got to get our lifting where it needs to be, where our strength level needs to be. We need to get healthy coming out of what I'd call spring ball in the fall because you do get nicked up doing this a lot. So we need to get them healthy. We need them getting back to our strength level that we need to go into that season with. And we need to do that in November because we're done with school on Thanksgiving. That's different. We're going home for break on November 30th. So we're going to be home all of December again. And we better learn from what happened in March and April we got to work during that time period, otherwise we're going to have the same type of growing pains that we went through now. We need to learn from so that we can start at the level we're leaving when we come back in January. And that's the, that will be the formula, that will be the puzzle that I'm trying to piece together of what that plan is from November and December so we come in at a high level in January. Man, if we ever kick off, it'll be awesome. <laughs> All right? So it's just the hungry part of it is it was just great to get on the field. Because really, from a football player standpoint, the greatness of football is being around all your friends, all your buddies, doing the same, going through the same pain, the same adversity, going through all the struggles together instead of individually in your own room. So it's kind of a battling with your, with your, with your, your brothers, your friends, your family. So that's what's great about being out here. But you can only do that for so long too. Besides, when you when it comes, man, you just get tired of hitting the same guy. So we need to get in a live game get back in that competitive edge of the celebrating touchdowns and celebrating sacks together and all playing for all the same reasons and playing for the University of Northern Iowa. Because that's why we're here. We're here representing the University of Northern Iowa's football program and this community. And we just need to get back on that field and know that we're playing for something bigger than us all. It's not just about us. It's not just about the school. It's about everything to me. There's a bigger cause here. And when you start feeling and playing like that, then it becomes really special. That's all we have for today's Panther Sports Talk. Keep it locked in right here to Panther Sports Talk for all the latest UNI Panther football news.